What we do at OC Waste and Recycling is an essential public service. We as a society generate waste. It has to be properly managed, and when that waste does come to us, then we properly take care of it. Most people are surprised by how much goes into the construction of a landfill and how many people are involved in performing all the roles in keeping a landfill clean. It's a privilege to work with a group of dedicated professionals. We all have that common goal to solve how to manage waste. On a typical day, we start operations at 5 o'clock in the morning and we pull off tarps. The active fill is where the tarps have been placed on the trash from the day before. Our trash actually starts coming at 6 o'clock in the morning. At that time, we're very busy. At times, it's 1,600 tons just that first hour. This is an all day long process. You don't stop throwing away trash and therefore the trucks come in all day long. When a truck first comes to our landfill, they head to our scale house. The appropriate fees will be collected. Then the truck will head over to our active fill area. And this is where all the action is. The bigger trucks will have these walking feet that push the trash out the back. And it's really impressive to watch big piles of trash drop out of the back of these trucks. You've got your operator who's pushing trash. You've got your compactor operator who's smashing down the trash. Each day when uh, trash is brought to the landfill, that in itself is what's called a, a working phase or a daily sell. And then when you continue up that process day in and day out, that is then called a lift. And once that lift is created, then we go back on top and that will be another lift. We actually build a trash cell to engineer design. And our goal is to reduce the size of that trash lift and get the most compaction we can out of that cell. When we build this landfill, we want to make sure it matches the topography, the terrain of the surrounding community. We are building these landfills into these canyons. And sometimes you get into interesting geological formations. Anytime we dig, there must be a paleontologist on site. And we've uncovered mammoth tusks. They've found whales, dolphins, walruses. We're not just trying to build something that's gonna last for five, 10 years. No, we're looking at generations out. Our landfills are engineered structures. And we also have environmental control systems that takes into consideration of our neighbors. We wanna protect the groundwater. We wanna protect the air that we breathe. We live in this community ourselves. So we want to keep our neighborhood safe. And one of the many components of landfilling is keeping the products of landfilling where it belongs. We used to have lots of seagulls fly over. The gulls would actually pick up the trash, but they end up flying over the neighborhoods, dropping their food products. To help the community out, we implemented the Falcon Control Plan here, and it reduced the amount of seagulls that actually visit this landfill. Not only does the landfill keep trash out of your backyard, out of your streets, landfills are feats of environmental engineering. At OC Waste and Recycling, we receive awards nearly every year, industry awards for landfilling, geotechnical engineering. We recycle the byproducts of trash. When we place the trash into the ground, it decomposes, but also it produces methane gas. We can then transform that gas into renewable energy. We're able to power tens of thousands of homes. We also have the possibility of taking the liquids that come from the landfill and we actually we use it on site for dust control. One of the big regulators on a landfill is storm water quality. After rainfall, all this water lands on the landfill and it can't leave the landfill dirty. And as it rains, that water goes down our large channels into concrete desilting basins. Clean water from the basins supports wetland habitat. The whole point is to create new environments and new ecosystems. It's another example of environmental protection. We are constantly expanding our efforts to create open space for future generations. Recycling plays a key role to the landfills. If we would all bring the right items to the landfill, we would reduce the amount of waste that we have. The community is very important in terms of how waste is being managed as a society. It actually starts with the residents in terms of making sure that they understand how the waste should be handled. What we do today will have a long effect hundreds of years into the future.